Instagram. So this is Richie, Richie Blue. What's up? The inventor, designer, creator of the original silencer. And all of Maker products. And all of Maker products. The the the, the handy sleeves, the different uh, outer applicators, the end wrap-on. And scrubbers. And scrubbers, thank you. Yeah. And so much more to come. And mop, mop sleeves. And so Richie's going over the silencer. This was like a hell of a breakout product. Yeah. And there's so many features on this that makes it so, so superior in terms of what's available on the market with puppets on a belt. But the clean-out feature, let me explain this. So this was designed because the cavity is so, if you look inside this, I mean, it's pretty deep. So let's say, for example, you drop something in there. And it could be anything. And, you know, you just, it's so much easier just to open this up and fish it out. That's one thing. The other thing, too, is like some guys like to carry a little, um, some little blue scrubbers or white scrubbers, they shove them down there or a sponge just so they have it and um, accessible, you know, so they don't have to run back to the truck. Um, so that's part of it. And then also too, uh, it allows you to clean it out easier. Uh, so you, these are machine washable, by the way. So you can put them in the washer and uh, cold water, delicate and air dry. But a lot of guys, you know, they don't want to go through the trouble of washing them all the time. So they just, they'll just hose it out or yeah. whatever. And so it's nice, that clean out feature, because it keeps it, well, if you keep it cleaned out in there, it keeps it from stinking. Yeah. Yeah. If you look at like a light colored, if you, I remember the old Unger bucket on a belt was green. They used them forever. Mm -hmm. You could see the black buildup at the bottom of that. And it was funky. Your average person, unless you're, you know, you really care yeah. about your tools, you're not cleaning that out very often. Yeah. So that's the purpose of it. So, I mean, if, if there's... This is pretty sealed up. You can see where it's pretty tight. If there's water splashing out of there, it means you got too much water in it. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Just like yes, when people out. say it leaks from here. It's like, well, it's open. It's open. You have to empty the water. It's not meant to fill with water. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I mean, some guys don't um, understand that. That's fine. And, and then that's why we came out with the grackle, too, because, you know, it, it, it'll, it will hold a little bit water, more water up to here. But even the grackle, it's going to, the water's going to splash out if there's too much water in there. So anything. Anything. Anything, yeah. But uh, this is really cool. So you put it on, and it's got this little concave thing here, and it kind of hugs your leg so it doesn't move around. It doesn't do this whole swingy, swingy thing. Even when you bend down, if you hit the ground with it, it's not going to... Like, you know, other buckets that just tip over. I do know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. yeah if you've never worn one of these, for anyone watching, it is insanely comfortable. Yeah. It, it's just, I don't know, it, it's not like any other pouch you in know, this industry. No, you really don't. It doesn't bounce. Yeah. It doesn't sway. It really, with that, can you show that the little concave? Uh, yeah, the back? this here kind of keeps it hugged down to your leg. You know, so it doesn't move around a lot. But plus, plus it doesn't have a swivel up here. But yet, it has enough room. If you have it on your belt, that you can move it a little bit. You got some play, yeah. Yeah, this this is bigger than your average belt. You have a little bit more play in there, so absolutely. Yeah. And then the other thing, too, the huge thing, one of the huge motivating reasons why I came up with this, First and foremost was the noise reduction. Yeah. Like with the plastic buckets and, and the and the tools falling out. You know, so you're walking around, the plastic buckets are bouncing. So if you don't have the tools in there just right, they'll bounce out. Mm -hmm. And then they make a racket. Clackety clack, clinkety clink, you know. You could hear a window cleaner coming. <laughs> yeah, it was just like it, it annoyed me, you know. And you could put a lot of stuff in here. And by the way, the, the other thing too. There's a lot of guys who are trying to run squeegees in the front here like this, and that's that's not where they go. They go either to this side or that side, and you could put them facing in or out. Mm -hmm. And the reason is, is because it holds the tool. Yep, it's not not going to come out. No bounce, and it goes down in there. It's not going to damage the rubber. It's not a hard plastic mold. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, that's another thing. Rubber. But that's one of the things guys always say. My rubbers last so much longer now because they're not getting nicked and cut up and stuff like that. So this is definitely, I mean, if I do say so myself, this is the best bucket on the belt that you're going to get anywhere in the world. <laughs> so this is the Silencer 2.0. You can get it at windowcleaner.com. You bet your biscuits. Bet your biscuits, baby. They look like slippers. They're hella comfortable. They're super comfortable. And they come in a really cool box, too. If you're into saving, like...